cast with smiles? They, did they ask you to cast with smiles, like smiling? I, I just focused on transitioning from being very sanguine and, and present and um, all the things that a therapist needs to be to unleashing a kind of a mad spirit from within. And the smile came later. Actually, the movie wasn't even originally titled that. I don't know if we're supposed to say, but um, it wasn't originally titled that. And I think uh, as soon as I saw that it was the title of the film, I thought, that's exactly right. Um, because um, flipping on its head are associations with the smile. I suppose there have been movies about, there certainly have been movies about scary clowns before. And that's that smile behind which is all kinds of horror, right? But it's a painted smile. And to see it coming out of a face, naturally, in a way that doesn't look in any way natural, <laughs> is, is, is sort of twice as scary as a painted smile. Or the smile on the Joker's face, which was cut into his face and, and tells a story of a, a, a tortured past. This is an otherworldly smile. And when you see it grab a hold of a person you thought you recognized, you feel like you're on a different planet all of a sudden. It's very interesting what it does. Did you practice on the mirror once you knew it was going to be about to smile? And can you show us your scariest smile? I will, I will tell you something funny about that smile. That because I was the first one in the lineup of people who had to smile, this demonic smile, um, in, the sh in, the sh in the shooting order of the film. I was the first one to incarnate it. And a, a very clever friend of mine who's here with me tonight, um, <laughs> he said, imagine if you'd only half smiled, the movie would have been called Smirk. <laughs> so, um, you know, this... Um, this was a thing that I sort of uh, practiced in the mirror and it started with the nasal labial folds. It's a smile that began at the nose. How's that? How, can you because show us? Because a snarl begins here, doesn't it? And so if I pulled, this, pulled my face into a smile starting at the nose, it was more of a snarl than a smile and I did find that uh, in, the, in the mirror the night before we shot it. I did practice, yes. Um, you can give us a sneak peek oh, of it. We've seen it a million times in the preview. It's in every preview. I, I don't need to do it again. But they, I think I would feel very strange doing it for you right now. But thank um, you. Parker Finn did a great job. This is his first feature film. Amazing job. Yes, yes. I'm very surprised this is his first feature film. Um, yes. Her great comments in the movie. It, yes, no, and, and he, well, South by Southwest is, uh, West is an extremely competitive festival, so to win in the short film category there uh, shows you have a, a tremendous amount of promise. But I love that Paramount um, threw all of the support beh behind a young talent uh, like this, and, and he earned every bit of it. Um, you know, I felt in very capable hands the whole time, and... Um, I think they made a fantastic choice, he did, and, and, and the rest of their team in, in casting Sosi because she was um, extraordinary at carrying this movie. It's very hard on that lead character, and we've seen some of our best A-list actors tackle horror films in that lead role, actresses in particular, um, because you have to stay dropped in every second of every second of every second, <laughs> um, if, that, if that makes sense. You know, you can't let go for a minute, and, um, and she was fully deeply committed in the whole the whole shoot so, so yeah. for for you how is this movie yes. uh, different from anything else you've done I didn't think I, I didn't think I would do horror I mean I, I have um, like I I, I, uh, I felt like we'd entered a, a, a moment in the culture where things everything felt like torture porn I, I didn't understand why everything had become so cruel and I sort of made a secret promise to myself to, to not do uh, this genre, um, I also scare very easily and all the rest of it, but I felt like this movie captured so well um, an anxiety that's in the culture right now, uh, that we can't trust anyone, that we're um, really um, up, ag up against it in terms of who, who can we believe, um, um, are we crazy to not trust anyone, are we paranoid, or, or is there really reason to be paranoid? I, f I see this is rampant right now, not just in, in, in the United States, um, but kind of around the world. And so I, I think um, it taps a nerve, and, and whenever horror taps a nerve, it serves a function. You know, the Grimm's fairy tales, um, you know, uh, for children are really horrific, but because they tap a vein of what's really going on for children, they actually have a vital role to play in a child's 
growing up. And I think this is like that. I think this is one of those movies. So, What is coming for you? Are you preparing for another project? Are you working on yes, something? Yes, I, I actually am about to go to uh, Vancouver to shoot a pilot for um, CBS. And then after that, I'm lucky enough to get to go and do a limited series for Hulu that will um, be shot in Bucharest called We Were the Lucky Ones. And, and that's going to be, well, largely in Bucharest. Um, and that's going to carry me through till May of uh, 2023. So I'm going to be busy coming up, yeah. What do you think is your secret to maintaining a career? Because, I mean, it's hard to start, but even more difficult to maintain a successful career. Well, it depends on the actor. I feel like I've always been... Um, a bit of an older person, uh, even when I was younger. And as, um, I think, I forget if it was Dustin Hoffman, I forget who said it, but you sort of begin to work when you are the age you are inside. It's a good, it's a good thing to live by. And I think as I get older, I'm actually closer to the age I am inside. So I, I sort of really do only see my career opening, which is lovely. I know it's not true for everyone, but it's, I feel very fortunate in that. Yeah. I'm very happy to Thank have you. talked to you. you so I'm going to practice my smile now. Okay, okay. Well, you have a very lovely one. So.